Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my river prep videos. This time around, I thought I'd touch on something that I get asked a great deal about, and that is my bucket bag here. This is my luggage. This is my constant companion on the riverbank. No matter what I'm doing, this is pretty much all I take as far as luggage goes. Now this is a Sabre 18 litre bucket bag. Now, once again, all the products I'm going to run through today, um, I bought from my with my own money. None of this is sponsored. I just get asked about this a lot and, and the sort of things I take to the river with me. And I'll stick the links uh, to the to all the gear that I've used and I mention down in the description, so you can go and have a look at your leisure. So yes, my bucket bag this comes absolutely everywhere with me. And I've held off doing a product video about this I do get asked quite often and I have put people in touch with links about this but recently so end of last year I found out from Sabre they've actually discontinued this <laughs> however there, there are other products available in a similar vein I think Tracker do very some products or similar things but I'll run you through the bag and what I take fishing with me um, because as I say I get asked quite a lot we'll run through a few different products as well at the end uh, but we'll run through the bucket bag first and exactly what I what I take with me and, and how I set it up. So as you can see, it's um, got a few mesh pockets and stuff. On the front here, you can probably see, keep my licenses in a plastic bag in the front. The front pocket, uh, bank stick there, we'll come on to that shortly. But in here, I keep all my hook links. As you can see there, hook link wallet that I think I bought in about 1980. <laughs> It's, uh, it's lasted well. <laughs> also, as we touched on in the previous video, my hook link boxes, my Guru hook link box. And obviously that's, this will change out if I'm going barbel fishing, I'll put my barbel ones in here. If I'm going pike and zander fishing, I'll take traces instead. Very important drink, which I usually forget to take with me. Um, so a very small bank sticks that just come in handy, live in the, in the bag and a pair of forceps for when I'm obviously pike fishing. That's it for the front pocket. Let's spin it around to the side. I've got a pair of cheap breathing glasses in there because as I get older, my eyes are getting less good. <laughs> got my polarizing sunglasses in there, which or take everywhere, obviously. Very, very useful, fish spotting. These are some old Fox ones where you can change the color of the lenses. You've got different color lenses in here. I've had them quite a while. Also got in here a mini tripod. Again, we'll come on to that in a minute <clears throat> when we talk torches. Diffuser for my camera light. <laughs> to say, everything's in here. I'm running through everything. My, uh, Thermometer there for doing the water temperature. It's got a bit of weight on the end and a lead which I'll just throw in the river to do the temperature. I've got some of these very old, as you can see, Nash bread bombs, as you can see. Been kicking around in my bag for a long time. Very useful. Suddenly I want to fish a big lump of bread uh, on the hook. I've also got in here some Coloured bits of foam do come in handy for perhaps popping up dead baits or you can even chop this it's very buoyant chop this up in the shape of a maggot and uh, perhaps pop some maggots up and have one fake maggot made out of that stuff don't use that very often either as you can see from the state of it <laughs> i've got a very old <laughs> packet of uh, sweet corn there pop up sweet corn which has probably been in my, bag, in my bag forever. I didn't even realise I had it. And a bit of rubbish there, because you should always take your rubbish home. So, spin it round. The other pocket. In here, six inch filleting knife. Comes in very handy. For, uh, obviously, pike and zander fishing, for cutting up fish. Also, splitting boilies up if I want to fish in butterfly style. And uh, again, that's, I think I bought that when I was about 10 as well. Uh, also in here we have a spare lead for my torch, which again we'll come on to in a minute. Catapult, very useful. And some 
<laughs> fake maggots. So, again, don't use very often. So that's it for the pocket. And as you can see from this, now it's got a, the main compartment has a padded lid. Zips up. Padded lid. The IG bin, you can sit on it. You put an 18 litre bucket in here with a lid. Set this over, you can sit on it. But I don't use it in that configuration at all. I don't use it to sit on. As you'll know if you've seen any of my videos. The way I run it is with the main compartment. I've actually got in there a 15 litre old Swarfiga hand wash bucket which uh, I got from work. I do plenty of that stuff. And the top, as you can see there, fit a washing up bowl. This is where I mix up my ground bait. Most of my sessions I use ground bait. I mix up my ground bait in here. Wet ground bait in the top. Also space in there for bread or maggots or whatever when I'm roving. Pop stuff back in the top. I tend to keep all the stuff that I'm using in the top bit, so we don't have to go digging around in the bottom, you know, bait-wise. Uh, if I'm on bread roaming for chub, I'll keep the bread in the top with the ground bait. Um, and same if I'm using worms or, you know, keep worms and maggots and bread in the top, whatever I'm doing. Clearly having that in the top gives me another compartment in the bottom where I keep all my bits and pieces. See that there? And I'll run you through now exactly what I take a typical session to the river. So first item in here, <laughs> as I've been doing some canal fishing recently, as it's still a closed season at the moment, as you can see there, some canal rigs, uh, canal pole rigs in there. Obviously I wouldn't take those if I wasn't going pole fishing. Also I have a small bag there, half a bag of dry ground bait, just in case I accidentally mix up <laughs> my ground bait too wet, I can dry it down with this, it does come in handy been here a very long time it does come in very useful if, if i need a little bit of extra grain but it does come in useful big mixed box of shot there and some stocks as well which i've been using for uh pole fishing now i've got packets and packets here as you can see of pellet bands <laughs> all different types and sizes of pellet bands some rig winder elastics there and some paste bombs there I think they're called paste bombs paste mate so wrapping your paste around put it on a hook so they in there too and that just leaves a very grubby box with two boxes left in here as you can see there I'll run through these. Trace hanging out there. Right, the first one I'll run you through is this, my main box here. Now this has all the gear I need to hand, all my bits and pieces that I need to hand in here. As you can see, punches, various disgorgers, lots and lots of different sized disgorgers. I do have a bit of losing them. Spare pair of scissors, as you can see there, I've got some, a couple of swim feeders in case I ever want to go on the feeder while I'm doing this. More punches, some SSG and LG shot. Oop, throwing the scorches away. SSG and LG shot for link ledgering. Again, more punches, meat punches. Various baiting screws, baiting needles, leads. There's even a couple of pipe bungs in there. Just everything I may need. Uh, plumb it. Let's see, close face feed, uh, close end feeder. Some open ended feeders, as I say, leads. All sorts of stuff that I may need. And, and a pair, as you can see there as well, of forceps for a hook into. Everything I mean, it may need to hand lives in that box there. Now, the other box, or the lid on, is this is more my tackle I need to. To re reset up all my rig gear in here. Stuff I don't need quite so often. So let's see, spare pair of scissors, uh, stuff like hook stops, run rings, run kits, that kind of thing, swivels, 
box with just bits and pieces. As you can see there, beads, anti-tangle sleeves, tulip beads, various bits and pieces. Also in here, I've got a box of float rubbers. And in there, I also keep this in a box, in a box, well, in some bags, in a box, in a box. Then my spare SD cards for the camera. <laughs> So there we have the components box. I think just about fit in there. As I say, that's all the gear I need if I need to reset it. If I ever get snapped off or anything, I'll set up again with that gear. So that's really it for my bucket bag. There's a few more things I just want to run you through that I often get asked about. So the first thing I get asked often about is my head torch. As you can see there, it's a Fenix head torch. I'll stick the model number down below. I'm not sure exactly which model it is off the top of my head. I'll stick it down below. But a uh, very useful head torch this. It's um, USB rechargeable, waterproof. It's got various modes. It's got a surround, slightly brighter surround, and then sort of SOS mode. And you've got three brightnesses on the main beam there and also a turbo beam that does you for about 30 seconds before it turns itself off but it does everything i need and i like this because i love the surround on this and it's quite quite dull as well it's it's just enough to see it's not it's not over the top i really do like that now another thing i get asked a lot about is the torch i use for illuminating my floats and my quiver tips if you've seen any of my videos you'll know what i'm talking about it usually fish into dark and uh this thing is what i use to do all my after dark fishing so that you can see the tips and you can see the float as well and clearly so i can <laughs> now this is um it's a mega leds that famous make it's just a cheapy i think it's about 10 quid off ebay and what drew me to this was firstly it's usb rechargeable and it has a focusable beam on it meaning i can run the beam down really tight nice and parallel um, or open it up a bit if i'm fishing two rods i can get it on both the rods or i can focus it right down onto one tip or onto the float and this is what i was talking about earlier when i mentioned my mini tripod and this <laughs> and this particular bank stick this is what i use to mount it on if I, obviously i'm in a, on a hard surface i'll use the tripod but if i'm on um grassy surface which i usually am i use this now what i've done to fit these together i'll show you there what i've done is on this metal body this metal casing i've arrow dighted a camera thread nut stainless steel nut just stuck it on with some arrow dye and that's a standard camera thread i'll put the details down below i'm not sure off the top of my head what it is and then what i've got in my bank stick is a camera adapter camera bank stick adapter in there so clearly that will just screw straight onto that and stick that in the ground stick it pointing at any angle i want and obviously Zero the beam down. Now I also carry around the cable for this because if I'm doing very long session, perhaps the battery will start to dim on this uh, and the light will start to dull down. What I can do is actually run this off a power pack at the same time. And clearly, with filming my sessions, I always carry power packs with me, so I can run them up, run this off a power pack if I need to as well. Now, last but not least, is the thing. I get asked about probably most I would think next to my bucket bag is the landing net I take with me my fold folding landing net again this is there's no there's no make to this it's not a particular make it's just uh, an eBay purchase I spent a long time finding this because the downside of lots and lots of folding landing nets is the length of the handle and they're really really not very long at all however this one although it's it's not the most robust thing in the world but that does make it very light this one does have a very very long handle and a decent length 
a decent size net, I should say, decent length arms. If you can see there, I mean, the arms are, I think about 60 centimeters long, a decent length. So you get decent sized fish in this. And as I say, it's, it's very, it's got three stage telescopic handle on it. Again, I'll put the link to the, uh, to where I bought this from. Top of my head, I think it's, uh, it's over, it's, it's a good two meters. Let's just check. Yeah, it's over two meters to the draw cord from, uh, from the end of the handle. So it's got a decent length to it. And as I say, it's decent size and it does fold down lovely and small. Just pop it down like that, wrap it up. I even sometimes carry it in front of my bag. <laughs> Easy as that. Chuck it in a bag. So I absolutely love this bit of kit. The only problem I've had with mine, and I've mentioned this to a few people that uh, have talked about buying them, is the, 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 yes, get to that camera there, you'll see better. The, um, the bolt in there that the arm pivots on had a tendency to come loose. So all I did was unscrew them, put a drop of super glue or some Loctite on, screw them back in. They haven't moved since. But obviously the arm still moves. So you have to be a bit careful with <laughs> the glue. But that's the only issue I've had with this. Um, this is my second one now. They last me really, really long time. But yeah, fantastic bit of kit. Very, very useful, as I say, very easy to fold down. When you're roving swim to swim, no need to carry a net. Stick it in the front of my bag like that. So I hope you found that useful and uh, answered a few of your questions. I know, as I say, people ask me a lot about this bucket bag and about what I take, what exactly I take to the to the river with me. And that's that's exactly, that is all the tackle I'll take with me. Uh, aside from bait um, and obviously there's plenty of room in here for a box of maggots some bread box of worms whatever little pot of sweet corn so yeah that's my roving gear i would say i'll take this to the y this will come to the y with me i'll have pellets in you know my barbel gear or i'll take it pipe fishing with me i'll have my traces in i'll have a bag of dead baits in very very useful so all there's left to do is to say thank you very much for watching i hope you got something from the video tight lines enjoy your own angling many thanks to the channel patrons for your support it's absolutely wonderful and i'll see you all again on the bank very soon